Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I got my Kintsugi mold out. I bought this a little while ago, last year I think it was. Let me pick it up so you can see it closer. So this is a form of Japanese art. It's supposed to look like broken pottery. That's why these lines are so jagged. And I didn't really know that when I bought this mold. I just thought it looks pretty cool. And typically you would paint these lines gold and then your pottery would be those broken pieces. I am going to think, well, I have thought way, way out of the box this time because I wanted to use some of this um, Virginia Beach sand that was gifted to me. And I'm ready to do a beach scene, but I, I want to do this. So I'm thinking it's going to be like total abstract abstract coasters and they could be a complete flop they might look pretty cool i don't know because i don't even know where i got the idea but i really wanted to try this on here my my idea is to put you might hear my dog in the background i'm sorry you guys his little nails are all over the floor he wants to play and i'm not ready to play so I'm going to fill one of like the corner ones with the sand. And then I chose four colors because a lot of these have four little openings, all different sizes for like the water. So I want this beach scene. Of course, like I said, it's totally abstract. It may not look anything like it, but I want to give it a try. And while I have the sand out, I'm going to make me a new Sandy and since it's Virginia Beach Sand, her name will be Virginia. So since my Sandy got taken from me, I'm going to replace her today with the sand out. I had one other idea for this. I like beach scenes with waves on them. And this is upside down. So what we're looking at right now is the back. So I can't put waves on the back because it doesn't work. And the waves need to be on the front. So uh, then I was thinking about um, the UV wave technique that Renee taught me. Basically the same way to make waves, you're just using UV resin. The only problem with that is I have all these lines that are going to be stopping the waves. Again, think abstract, abstract art. <laughs> because I think I'm going to try some waves in here, even though they're going to be separated. And then I'm going to backfill these with white so these lines will be white to mimic some waves. Like I said, I don't know. It could be a total flop. It might look cool. We're going to find out in the end. So I think what I'm going to do, I did measure them. They hold about three ounces each opening. I'm going to mix up. Well, first of all, I'm going to do the UV resin first. The other problem I'm thinking is, is it going to cure because I have a blue background and not a clear background? So that's my other dilemma. So I do know that I need to use my high viscosity UV resin for it because I need a thick resin. I need um, some resin with some white. So my idea is to like blow it with a straw really really thin not very far out because these are going to be the blue spots and then cure it really really long and then if it comes out uncured on the other side i'll probably put the uv light on that and cure it i may have to top coat these i'm not sure i hope not um but i'm not sure so there's only one thing to do and that's just like jump right in and let's see what happens now, before I do this, somebody sent me a gift today. These are from Molly Helfgott. It says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. These are the best fine mist spray bottles for alcohol and easy to handle. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much, Molly. What a surprise. Don just like threw these in here like three seconds ago, threw them on the desk as if I ordered them and walked away. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I didn't order these. Where's the package? He's like, oh, I didn't know. I'm like, you have to check packages. This is cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. That's a different. Now that I just bought my cheapies. I wonder how you open these, though. 
twist. Oh, just twist. Looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and fill these up and we're gonna try these out. Thank you so much, Molly. How did you know I needed them? Because my spray bottle wasn't working the other day. <laughs> you guys pay such good attention to what's going on in my life. I can't even believe it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna be using two different resins. Let me get a little plastic cup. Sorry guys, I should have been ready. This one is gonna be my white, which I'm going to use just my normal UV resin. It's a little thinner. I don't know how much I need. I don't really need that much. And I need my ocean white. I'm gonna be using my ocean white because if it does actually make cells in this really, really thin white, then this is the cells. I really like the cells this one makes. So I'm just going to mix up a tiny little bit of white. I'm not gonna go crazy overboard. I'm gonna do it on one, cure it, and kind of see what happens. Again, I've never done any of this. I don't even I don't even know what abstract art is other than I don't know what it is and they call it art. So that's what I'm thinking. So what I want to do, I'm going to do this one first. So this is going to be my sand. This will have three color blues. So I want a little bit of wave in my sand here and then the waves extending here. So it's going to be like three different portions of waves, but I don't want it very... I don't want it thick at all. And I don't want it going too far. Let me grab a little, a little stick here. So I need it as thin as possible because I'm worried about the curing on a blue mold. And I could blow it out far with a straw. I don't know. This may be over before it even begins. <laughs> we shall find out. All right. I'm just going to pour, not really pour, I'm going to like get my white on all three of these. And I'm just really just touching the the stick to it. I'm not really dripping it in because I don't need that much. So I'm going to take this straw and I'm going to blow. I'm gonna grab my light. I'm going to cure this for like five minutes until it turns off. And then we're gonna check and see if it's actually cured. I won't know about the other side until we unmold it. So I'm taking a huge chance. It seems to have cured. It's pretty solid. Um, I hope it's cured. I don't know, this might look okay. So I'm pretty much just gonna do that same thing. And then I got some seashells out. I think I'm going to embed a couple seashells in the sand under UV resin so the sand doesn't like swallow it up. Let's try this again. So I'm just gonna Move it around. I don't think I'm gonna do that little one. It's gonna to be too difficult. Grab my white.
the concentration. Remove that. Let me grab my straw. I kind of blew some of my white over this one, so I'm going to redo this one. I'll try to go a little less. And I think I'll put some some of my um, shells in now before I cure it. I don't want to sit here waiting all night curing stuff. I'm just going to grab some with my tweezers. Just kind of get them in there. Whoops, the tiniest ones I could find. Where did it go? There's one. Flip it over. Let's see. Make sure they're the right side down. And again, this could be a complete total waste of my time but hey you don't know until you try right but you know I'm thinking underneath those uh, shells are not going to be able to cure because the light is not going to penetrate so I'm not sure what's going to happen all right five more minutes all right it seems to be cured enough to move on to the next ones so I'm just going to flip this around very carefully so I don't break the, I need to move a few things. Hang on, a... Hang on a moment, you guys. I pulled some little shells out. I don't want this paper under here right now. I'm just gonna not pick this up so I don't break the, the, um, the seal it has. Okay. Now we're going to do this side. I just want it up close so you can see what's going on. Let's see. Let me get the resin. So I think I'm going to do this one sand and this one sand. I don't think I'm going to do anything in that one. It's just too small. So we shall see what happens here. I wonder if I could just do both of them. I don't see why not. It's not going to cure without me putting the light on. So let's just do them since we know it's going to work. I may have to turn these a little bit. All right. Grab my white. I'm going to blow much softer this time so I don't blow it into the other ones. I don't know how it's going <laughs> to, I don't know how it's going to work. I've got like these little corners here. Let's do this one. And I pulled out some shells while I was waiting, so I didn't have to dig around. Oh, that's, that needs to go on this edge. I just put it on the wrong edge. Shoot. 
abstract, right? Abstract. I'm sticking with it. Trying to blow it as thin as possible. I need a little more white over here. Not quite enough. for some shells. Whoops, not there, buddy. I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna just cure that side for five minutes. everything's mixed I mixed up eight ounces of my casting resin and I probably don't need all of it because I'm packing the elk mold where did I put it with sand too even though he holds two ounces he's not going to hold two ounces with sand in there so I'm just going to get him ready so I'm going to start with the sand that way I can worry about the um alcohol ink in a little bit. Now, actually, I don't need that much resin. When you put sand in, you don't need much resin. You're just coating it. So I'm going to just start scooping this beautiful brown sand over here. I know you can't see but I don't want to sprinkle it all over my mold either. And let me grab a stick, not that one. Oh, something in there. So I want my sand like super thick because I don't want any clear resin coming to the surface. Wow, that darkens a lot in the in the um, in the resin. What I'm gonna do on my abstract art over here? <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of. 
put a really thin layer because I really don't want to cover the lines. I want those lines to show up in white. So even if these shells don't get covered, it's okay with me because the white will cover them. And I'm just going to kind of spread this out, hoping it doesn't seep underneath that UV resin. If it does, it does. Like I said, I don't even know if these are going to look okay. And I think I did take out my crushed crystal, as you can see. Because I have some random glitter floating that I can't get out of this mold. So I think I'm just going to glitter up a little bit the um, alcohol ink colors. Just to give it a nice little shimmer. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I need some elbow room. All right, this one's bigger. I'm just hoping it doesn't like settle past these lines. Like I said, like I don't want it to do that. It's a little thicker than I wanted. I'm sure I can scoop it out if I have to. So I'm going to kind of keep an eye on it. This one is a little bit bigger. Hoping it will stay in place. Look at that. I got some, got some on my weave. There we go, one more. And then we'll get Virginia filled up. I was waiting for an opportunity to replace Sandy. I actually ordered another elk mold, you guys, because I'm so afraid I've used it so many times. I'm so afraid it's going to get dull on me. And everybody's constantly buying that mold. So I'm like, ah, oh, well, it's in stock. I got to grab one. I'm going to use my new pump. Let me prime it. Oh, look at that. That is a nice little spray. Okay, for her, I'm going to spray some alcohol in there. Because I got those eyes to worry about. I know there's not enough in here, but I'm just going to pour what I have and figure out what else I need. I need some more. I'm really going to just scoop the sand first and then add some more resin. Like I said, I don't want a lot of resin in there. Just enough to make it thick like a paste. Otherwise, this is what happens. If you didn't see this video, I had too much resin in here, so it was upside down. So all the clear resin floats to the top, and then you end up with a clear patch because I didn't put enough shell in that one. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's nice and thick.
And if I have extra, we will make some sand pendants. Those are always pretty. Especially with a little charm from the sea. Are there any charms out there that are not sea life? Do you guys know? I have those little black ones that have like little bows and things. But is there anything else to choose from? That's why I keep doing sea life charms because that's all I have. I would like something different. I just don't know what there would be out there. Look at that. It's almost perfect. It is perfect. Ha! Huh, imagine that. Every drop fit. I guess I don't need any sand pendants today then. Fine. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot the antlers. Okay, it wasn't perfect. I got ahead of myself. Now I gotta make some for the antlers. Let's see here, I'm just gonna... Don't need much. These I do need a little running because I need them to spread out in those antlers. So there's probably going to be a little bit of clear on here. Let me spray. I love that sprayer. Thank you so much. Love it. You guys have the best stuff that I don't even know exists. I don't even know how I survive without some of this stuff when I get it. All right. That's good for that. I have enough for like one pendant. Let me go pour it. What I think I'm going to do since I want everything else to have the shimmer in it, I'm going to put this into my clear first so I don't have to try to get everything like even. I don't want that sand in there. So like the barely, barely anything. That's all I want in there. Just to give it like a shimmer that the ocean would have. And then I'm just going to split it up as I need it. This is starting to warm up because I spent so much time on the sand. So if your resin starts warming up like mine is, get it split into smaller cups, which is what I'm going to do right now. I have four colors, so I'm going to split it four, even though they're not going to be... I'm only going to color one at a time. I'm really just splitting it to cool it down. I'll leave some in the cup. Because I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to do one at a time. And I think I'm going to start with the darkest, which is my azure blue. I think this is the darkest. I'm going to put a couple drips in there. And since the side of my cup is white, and so is a paper towel, if you want to test your color to see exactly what it's going to look like, because it's going to be poured so much thinner, it won't be the same color. Just kind of put it up on your cup, and that's the color it's going to be. And that looks pretty good, just with those couple drops. Let me just... All right, so I think the blue, I want to move this. The darkest blue is going to go on one end, and I'm going to work my way to the lightest. I got no idea. Or maybe I'll just, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I want to keep it thin. I don't want it to go over the edge. I do want it to go over the waves. All 
right, there's one. And then we'll do, I'm just gonna like start on one edge and move to the whatever size it is it is. Oh, look at that. See, my sand is moving over. I gotta move, I gotta move Virginia. I don't want my sand coming over there. I need a little tool. I knew I put a little too much in there. That's what I don't want to happen. So I think I'm gonna scoop some of this out. See, I need a little bit more in this corner. A little bit more there. It'll pull away if you don't have enough. That looks good. And this one I will do here. Oh, look, the sand went over there too. Shoot. I don't know if I can get that out. Yep, I'm getting it. A little too much. I said I'm trying to keep that line exposed for the white. Okay. And one more. We'll do this one. That's a little too much. I'm going to pull it out. You could use a syringe, you could use a paper towel on top, but it's not a lot of space, so that's why I'm just kind of scooping it a little bit. I don't want to waste a syringe on that little bit. Okay, next color is going to be my blue. These are all made by Let's Resin, so all these blues are from them. Let's do a few drops of that, see what we got. That looks pretty good, so I'm gonna pour because it's getting warm. up over the wave. So there's no way to like measure this because they're all different sizes. So we're probably gonna have a lot of extras to unmold today. I'll do this one. If I was smart, I would have started with the lightest and um, been able to reuse the resin. But I can't go lighter, I can only go darker. And I'm going to need more. Where's that blue? I, 
hope these come out like what my head is thinking they're going to come out like. Even though I don't put beach stuff in my house, I love to make them. It's weird. I don't even go to the beach. Okay, the next one is going to be, which one is lighter? Aqua or turquoise? I think aqua. I hope there's a difference in the color. A little bit. Man, this is getting warm. I've never waited this long. See, this one is a little bit lighter. Hopefully it works. Yeah, you can kind of see a difference. I hope you guys have a good view. I know I'm not zoomed in good because it's a big mold. Yeah, I think there's a good color difference. I'll bring you down when I'm done, give you a little better close up before it's cured. See, this one doesn't look that big of a color difference. I think what I can do, I'm gonna take my blue on this one and just mix it right in my mold. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best idea. I'm not going to ruin the mold. I'm just saying it's not going to be uniform unless I get this completely. It was just too close to that color next to it. Now this one's a little darker than the rest. Now I'm probably going to have to do that to all of them. I really shouldn't have done that. But I'm going to. I got to make them. I want to make them the same. So I will go through the struggle. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick sprayer to this. And now it is going over my lines. I can't stop it, I can't even. So I may have to go in and paint them later after I demold it. They're just merging everywhere. The last one is turquoise and I <laughs> literally have one, I only have one spot, oh, two tiny spots. So I have a lot of leftover resin. What can I pour with it? I have to be quick, it's getting hotter and hotter as I stand here. All right, so this one is literally tiny. And I poured too much because I'm getting nervous. So that's going to end up blending together. All right, so that's it. Um, I think I need to blend them now so they're all the same. I'm going to go just cover these little lines. And I will just go in and paint them later. Hopefully something fits in that tiny little groove
That one's already covered. This one's already covered. Spray it with alcohol. Can you see that shimmer, you guys? I'll bring you down. Let me find something to pour this in and then I'll bring you down. So I have this new little cat mold that I made. I haven't done it on video yet. And since I have plenty, I'm gonna make a turquoise kitty cat and see what it looks like. I don't know how, it doesn't hold much, maybe an ounce and a half. Look at that, perfect amount of turquoise for that cat. So we will see how that one works. And what can I do? Let's do some flowers and a rose. We'll do a green rose. I think I've worked out my project that I'm gonna use all these roses for that I've been pouring. I'm just working out the final steps of it. So I can always use another rose for it. And then this one will be my little faceted flower. Oh, I know you guys can't see. Let me zoom out for you. So here's my rose. Here's the cat. And this is the faceted flower. I guess I could pour the rest in the hand mold. I'm still trying to fill that up. I'm only about halfway there because I keep pouring stuff in everything else. <laughs> I'm still filling up the cupcake too to give away. That one's almost full. I need a little bit more. This one only holds a little less than a half ounce. It's really sticky. All right, so I have a little bit of this blue left. I will pour a couple pendants. Oh gosh, I still have, I still have some in here. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I won't keep you. I'll find something to put it in. Okay, so I poured the hippo, the faceted flower, a rose, the cat. <laughs> Here's the coasters. I'm so curious to see what those waves look like. And then the elk. Oh, and I did a few pendants. So we got lots to unmold today, you guys. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. They are cured enough to pour, you guys. I mixed up six ounces of resin. I'm going to put in my ocean white because I just want it white. A nice good squirt. I want it opaque so we cannot see through it. And all I'm going to do is pour it on and leave it overnight. Yep, you guessed it. It is midnight. And I could not go to sleep without knowing these were poured. This stuff is all still curing. It's not good enough to unmold yet. So we will wait for everything tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope it's not a complete bomb. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a little more in though. This is pretty deep. Nice good squirt. It should bring out the blue, because if I unmolded it right now, it would be really, really light. You probably wouldn't be able to see much blue or the waves. So this white should bring out that blue. That looks pretty good. Okay. You don't need to put it through a vacuum chamber or anything. Not when you're just... I hope I made enough. I always... I think I do. I don't know. All right. It should only be another ounce and a half per coaster. I hope I don't have to like mix up a half of an ounce.
which I probably do because this one is short some. Of course it is. Oh, maybe not too much. I could probably scrape enough out. I just didn't want to have any more extras. I have so many extras to unmold today. I may have to trim down the backs of these um, shells. I'm not sure. Let's use my super cool new sprayer. That should be everything. They look pretty good. Like that was the exact amount. Oh, I know why I'm short because I mixed up an ounce and a half per, but I used a lot for these extras. So that's why it's just barely under. So they're not domed. I will have to trim, but barely. They're pretty, pretty good. Okay, guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. It's time to unmold. I'm so nervous. I hope they're okay. I hope they're not all scrap. But we're going to start with the little stuff first. So we poured a little rose. Let's see how it came out. These are usually pretty good by spraying alcohol in. And again, it was. There are no bubbles in those rose petals. So this will be going in with a project I'm putting together now. So there's that one. Let's do this flower mold. Let's see how this one came out. By the end of the time I had working with this stuff, it was really thick, really, really thick. All right, so let's, oh, look at that sparkle. I love this mold, I really do. There's a few bubbles in these petals, but that's okay. It looks really good. That's because it was so thick and I was like just trying to jam it packed full. So that's why the bubbles weren't able to release. But look at the, it's just gorgeous. All right, there's that one. Let's see, let's do Virginia. Here are her antlers. Super cute. It does need a little bit of trimming. That bothers me. I don't want that on there. And I'm going to have to go put a face on her real quick. This is a little harder to trim because there's sand in it, so it's probably going to ruin my knife blade. So those are still shiny. My mold is not complete, is not done yet. Let's see, I'll probably need to spray a little bit of alcohol down in here. This one's not, it's easy to get out if you put alcohol in or soapy water or something to loosen it up. It's not always easy to get out if there's not. And there are some bubbles I'm going to trim off the bottom. So let's see what she looks like. Looks like I don't have any clear resin on the bottom like I didn't want. I jammed it packed with that sand and it looks like the alcohol didn't get up in her head so I'm gonna have to struggle here for a moment. Oh, look at her. So these are her antlers. I'm going to go ahead and put a little face on her. I'm gonna do that right now. And with the magic of a pause button, you now have Virginia. She has come to life. So you couldn't really see the eyes, so I did put a little white sparkle dot in there for, for her. So she's got a little nose. I had to add noses. Somebody called me out on that. I think it was you, Ari. <laughs> so I added noses to all my little guys down here. I forgot a nose. So it's hard to see, but I could see it in person. So what do you think of that sand? It's really dark but I like it. So Virginia is now part of the family. All right, next. Let's see, this is the hippo. Let's check out the hippo. I don't know if I completely filled it up or not, but this is gonna be a sparkly hippo. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that sparkle. There's his little tail. I'm going to have to put a little face on him, too. Um, yeah, I didn't have enough to get the bottom of his chin done. So, oh well. It's okay. We accept him. He'll be with the little rejects over here, like rosy nose over here. And this is the cat that I haven't released yet. So you guys are seeing it for the first time. 
I'm seeing it for the first time. I haven't molded it yet with resin. <gasps> Look at that. He's faceted. I do need to put a little face on him. What do you think about the cat? He's small. He's only, what, an ounce and a half of resin, so he's very cute. So let me go put faces on these two, and then we're going to unmold these. All right, here they are. So this one has two eyes and a nose. I didn't draw a mouth on him. I guess I could have. And again, this one has bubbles, too, inside. You can kind of see because... The resin was so thick, so it was not going to be coming out. If you are interested in this, I will link it below. It is in the store by now. And here is his face, his mouth, eyes. I didn't do anything with his ears. I trimmed up their bellies so they're not sharp anymore. But I love the sparkle in this one. This one is really pretty. Okay, now for the main event. Let's see what we're working with here, if we're working with anything. Let's get them out. Now, I'm not sure about the waves. Remember, I don't know if they cured all the way through. Oh, it looks like they may have. I don't see anything on the, on the mold. All right, ready? Oh. That kind of looks cool. I don't hate it. The lines are kind of white. There's the seashells embedded in their little resin. It's not that bad. I wish this was a little darker because the white background kind of took the blue away because it was really light blue. But look at, the, do you see the sparkle in the water? I like the little wave effect that I got with the alcohol ink drops. All right, let's see the next one. And the waves are not sticky. That's good. Now these, no, these aren't sticky either. It kind of worked. Same thing with the clear or the light blue there. I wish it was lighter blue. Unfortunately, it's not. I wish I would have taken the wave a little farther over here. Didn't even think about it. What do you guys think? Two out of the box? Let's see this one. I'm so happy these aren't sticky. I love that effect. I should have done that in all of them now that I think about it. Hindsight, right, is 2020. This is not a broken piece. That's actually the way the mold is. I'm just looking at the mold right now to make sure I didn't do anything wrong or break it off. But that's the way it is. It just has that thicker line there. You can't really see this line. And I don't really want to paint in there because it kind of extends those waves. And one more. Pretty cool. So there are... It's like there's lines in my mold because there's lines on there. But that's all right. I kind of like them. They're kind of cool. Everything's flat, so you could use them as a coaster. I mean, it looks like these are not flat, but they definitely are. Well, you guys, I hope this wasn't too crazy for you. I think they look kind of neat. You can actually display them like this with the sand and you kind of have a little island in the center there. <laughs> so there's your island with the seashells, waves going everywhere. What do you think? You like? All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Maybe you like the cat, maybe you like the flower, whatever. If you like the hippo, I hope you like these though. These were the main event. I will get you guys some pictures. Channel members, you guys have already seen the pictures. Hope you couldn't wait to see the video. I will get you everything at the end, so stick around for that. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.